All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. And today we're going to try to answer the question: Do new spark plugs really increase the performance of your vehicle? So let's get into it and do a little investigation here. I'm going to test this theory by putting some new plugs into one of my vehicles and the vehicle that I'm going to use is my 2007 Chevy Avalanche. The reason I'm using that vehicle is because A, it's slow, I'd like to increase the performance of it, and B, the plugs that are in there have been in there ever since I've owned it. So I bought it with about 100,000 kilometers on it, now she's got about 175,000 or, or very close to it. So I have not changed the plugs and I don't even know if these plugs have been changed. They may be the original plugs in the vehicle. So. The first thing I want to do is do a little 0 to 60. So I'm going to try to rig up a camera in there somehow, rig up a stopwatch or a timer on my phone in there somehow. And uh, on this very dreary and wet day here in the 604, we're going to go out and do a very interesting 0 to 60 run, see what she does. And then we'll come back, swap the plugs, do a little investigation while we have them out, and to see if the new plugs actually make any difference in performance. All right, I'm just warming everything up here before we go. I want to make sure I kind of standardize all my testing and make sure the vehicle's up to operating temperature, etc. So I'll probably do three runs before I swap the plugs and I'll do three runs after I swap the plugs. And that'll give us a pretty good baseline of what she does zero to 60 before and after. So just letting everything warm up. Oh, can you actually feel the power? Can you hear the power? Yeah, this thing is not exactly a performance vehicle. All right, test number one here. I'm at a complete stop. We're going from a dig. We're gonna see what this thing actually does zero to 60 or zero to 100 kilometers an hour. Oh, we got a little bit of scratch. Oh, she's spinning. She spun there. Is that 10.9? Yikes. 10.9 <laughs> with some wheel spin. She got uh, right in the old mid-range torque. She started spinning the tires. I have the traction control on, so I haven't changed anything there. So, okay, 10.9. We're gonna reset that. A little bit sketchy trying to hit the uh, timer on my phone and look at the speedometer and keep my eye on what's coming up. But we're gonna try it again, so I'm gonna reset that. Okay, we got ourselves another spot here. Let's see if I can time this out. Do I foot brake it? Nah, I'll just stab it. And, nope, missed it. And ready, set, go. To the floor. Third shot here. Ready, go. A little bit slow, hitting the throttle maybe. A little bit of spin too, but. Come on, baby. 10.9 again. Okay, last shot. Yeah, I think that was timed pretty good. Come on. Actually doesn't pick up too bad once it gets rolling. 10.16, okay, 10.16 it is. All right, well, we're gonna let this thing cool and then we're gonna yank some plugs out of it and uh, do those tests again. So 
Those 10-1 or 10-0 times, the thing flat hooks, so I'm going to go back to those two locations. I actually got a pretty good spot now. Um, but what's the average? What was the average of those times? Right, so the average of those times is 10.495, so roughly 10.5 seconds. So we're going to see if we can beat a 10.5 second time. I'll show you the plugs I'm going to use that'll hopefully get me there. And coincidentally, just to check, here's what motor week did for a zero to 60 in a 2007 chevy avalanche so 9.8 seconds looks like i need to be somewhere in that ballpark and here are the plugs i'm going to use i'm going to use these ngk tr55s now these are a copper plug they're not a platinum or an iridium tip plug like the uh, oems use the reason i want to use these copper plugs is because they should give me better performance um, iridium or platinum tip plugs will definitely last a lot longer, but these actually have a hotter spark. So platinum and iridium plugs perform at a lower level than copper spark plugs technically because they are less conductive and they tend to overheat. So um, overall their longevity would be better than a copper plug. In reality copper has the best performance of all three, although they have the worst lifespan. But you know what? Changing plugs in this thing is not hard. I mean. As you can see, one, two, three, four on this side, or one, three, five, seven to be precise. They're right there, easy. Coils are right there, easy. Not like, you know, a fourth gen Camaro or any of those other cars where the engine is buried under the cowl. This thing's all right out front. So simple to change plugs. I don't mind throwing plugs in. And it gives me a chance to look at my engine bay and inspect other things while I'm in there. So, all right, well, it's cooled down enough for us to get in there. So let's take out number one spark plug and see what we've got. It's an AC Delco. I'm not sure, I'd have to run the numbers, but that is definitely some sort of iridium or platinum tip. Let's see what the numbers say on this one. Yeah, the 41985 AC Delco plug is an iridium tip plug, um, designed to last 100,000 miles. Well, these could be original then, guys. Um, this truck's got 173 or 4,000 kilometers on it as I mentioned earlier, which is over 100,000 miles. So these are done. Um, look a bit rusty almost. So we'll put in the copper ones now. Yeah, the more I work on this, the more I think that these definitely are the original spark plugs. Because they are in there. So it's a good idea to put a little bit of anti-seize on the threads of any spark plug that goes into an aluminum cylinder head. Because you never want them to seize on you. And when I was removing the original ones, they were dry as a bone and very difficult to get out. So I want to prevent that when I have to change these plugs again in the future. Okay, driver's side is done. We just have the other side next. And you know, when you're working on your car, you really, you gotta, you gotta give your flesh and blood, you know, you gotta skin your knuckles or something, draw some blood. That means you're really bonding with your vehicles. Blood or money, that's what they all need. All right, and the other side's done. I gotta tell you, the passenger side rear, or plug number eight, was a lot of fun. You gotta experience that. Anyhow, next step, let her warm up, take her out on the road, see if we can best our zero to 60. Okay, plugs change, first run, start, go. Let's try this one more time. 
time here, same spot where I did my final before plug change. from our testing and our average over four runs is 10.09 so we went from a 10.45 to a 10.09 is the truck actually any faster then well that test isn't extremely accurate as you can see it's hard to push the start and stop time and synchronize that with my pedal keep my eyes on the road steer the vehicle so I'd say the test isn't extremely accurate but the truck feels better it feels a little stronger it idles a little smoother I mean those plugs were bagged they were at the end of their life so I'm glad I got them out. So I would say, does changing your spark plugs actually increase performance? Plausible. Um, the test will be to see if I get any better fuel economy and I'm gonna have to do that over time. So I may report back later. So it's plausible that your plug change will increase performance. I mean, especially if you had a set of plugs that were, you know, had a hundred plus thousand kilometers and they were copper, definitely might uh, see more improvement there. So thanks for tuning in. If you like the content, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, the best time of the year to enjoy your project car is all year round, even your family hauler when you're changing plugs and making things better. So enjoy the rest of your weekend. And remember, keep the shiny side up. Hopefully the rain stops here. Take care.